हेलो बच्चो गुड इवनिंग सो इन दिस लेक्चर विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर एंड इंडक्शन मोटर बेसिक मतलब द डेफिनेशन पार्ट वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल टाइप्स एंड व्हाट इज आइडियल ट्रांसफार्मर सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ इंडक्शन मोटर विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेफिनेशन वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन अगर देखा जाएगा ट्रांसफार्मर इंडक्शन मोटर बहुत भास्ट टॉपिक है वी कैन से सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू कम्प्लीट द एंटायर पार्ट विद इन दिस शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम तुम्हारा सिलेबस में जितना है एज पर योर सिलेबस मैंने एक शॉर्ट वीडियो दिया जस्ट विल हैव टू फोकस ऑन डेफिनेशन वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर एंड इंडक्शन मोटर ठीक है तो वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं सो इट मैक्सिमम टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स कमिंग टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर ट्रांसफार्मर क्या होता है इट इज ए स्टार्टिंग डिवाइस विच कन्वर्ट्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी और इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर फ्रॉम वन सर्किट टू अनदर सर्किट विदाउट चेंज इन फ्रीक्वेंसी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट याद रखो कीपिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी एज कॉन्स्टेंट वी कैन ट्रांसफर इलेक्ट्रिकल एसी पावर फ्रॉम वन सर्किट टू अनदर सर्किट एंड द प्रिंसिपल इज बेस्ड ऑन फर्ड इज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो इन अदर लैंग्वेज ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट ट्रांसफर मेज ए स्टार्टिक पीस ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स विच इज यूज इधर फॉर रेजिंग और लोअरिंग द वोल्टेज ऑफ एन ऑल्टरनेटिंग सप्लाई विथ करस्पॉन्डिंग डिक्रीज और इंक्रीजिंग करेंट so transformer consists of two winding like your primary winding and secondary winding and which is winded on a common common laminated magnetic core which is made up of silicon steel uh, right the windings uh, which is connected to the primary side or ac primary ac source side that is called primary winding and which is connected across the load side that is called secondary winding so coming to the principle working principle uh, what happen as i have told there is a common core here and there are two winding primary and secondary with number of turn n1 and n2 whenever alternating voltage is given to the uh, primary winding a alternating magnetic flux will set up in the core right as you know this alternating magnetic flux links in both the circuit and induces emf e1 and e2 as per the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is concerned you know फेराडेज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन क्या है रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स विल डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू ई एम एफ सो वेन एवर यू आर गिविंग सप्लाई वोल्टेज एज ऑल्टरनेटिंग ऑल्टरनेटिंग नेचर ऑल्टरनेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स विल सेट अप मतलब दी फ्लक्स इज फ्लक्स का नेचर है साइन शूडल सो चेंज इन फ्लक्स लिंक इन द प्राइमरी कॉयल विल बी गेटिंग ई एम एफ एस माइनस ऑफ एन वन डी फाइव अपन डी टी अकॉर्डिंग टू फेराडेज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन अगेन मैग्नेटिक चेंज इन मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स ऑल्सो लिंक इन द सेकेंडरी साइड Uh, so we can get emf as e2 which will be minus of n2 d5 upon dt so if i divide e2 to e1 i will be getting n2 upon a1 n1 right so here there are some point uh, we should remember uh, the first point is the transformer action is based on um, law of electromagnetic induction that is the point number 1 point number 2 uh, remember there is no electrical connection between primary to secondary that is the beauty of transformer there is no electrical connection between primary to secondary but ac power can transfer from primary side to secondary side through a common magnetic flux and third point important point your input frequency will be same as output frequency that means frequency there is no change in frequency output frequency will be same as input frequency and fourth point which is very important uh, the losses in case of transformer are two type one is core losses second is copper loss core loss consist of eddy current loss and hysteresis loss copper loss consist of copper loss kis mein hota hai like due to the resistance of the primary winding and secondary winding and aur ek cheez yaad rakho hamara syllabus mein ideal transformer hai ideal transformer kya hota hai there are three condition the first is uh, there should be no winding resistance in the primary and secondary uh, side and second is there should be no leakage flux matlab flux through both the winding will be same there should be no wastage of flux मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स एंड थर्ड पॉइंट इज दर इज नो आयरन लॉस आयरन लॉस क्या है हिस्टोरिस लॉस एंड एडिकरन लॉस बट ये प्रैक्टिकली एग्जिस्ट नहीं होता है ऑल द ट्रांसफार्मर आर प्रैक्टिकल ट्रांसफार्मर सिंस हमारा सिलेबस में है आइडियल ट्रांसफार्मर सो दीज आर द कंडीशन वी शुड नो और वी शुड रिमेंबर नेक्स्ट सिंस दर इज नो वाइंडिंग रेजिस्टेंस सो वी कैन से ई वन विल बी इक्वल टू वी वन एंड ई टू विल बी इक्वल टू वी टू देन वी कैन राइट डाउन ई टू अपन ई वन विल बी इक्वल टू वी टू अपन ई वन दैट इज एन टू अपन एन वन which is called transformation ratio right as i have told there is no losses so we can say volt ampere in the primary side will be equal to volt ampere in secondary side volt ampere matlab kya hota hai v1 i1 will be equal to v2 i2 so we can conclude uh, like n2 upon n1 will be equal to e2 upon e1 will be equal to v2 upon v1 is equal to i1 upon i2 
that is nothing but k that is transformation ratio so if n2 is more than n1 obviously v2 will be more than v1 that is called step up transformer if n2 is less than n1 so v2 will be less than v1 that is called step down transformer it is clear i will discuss about uh, the basic definition of three phase induction motor its working principle advantage disadvantage and application so uh, coming to the definition part it is a kind of motor which take input as three phase electrical supply and will give output as mechanical so uh, mostly it is used in industry uh, uh, coming to the uh, construction part it has two parts one is stator second is rotor stator is the outer part of the machine rotor is the inner part of the machine stator has three phase winding but rotor has short circuit winding um, we can say it is rotor winding so uh, three phase supply will be given to the stator winding to energize that coil so um, why it is called induction motor why it is not conduction motor because the rotor will be getting current due to the principle of induction right so that means we can say the rotor winding derives its voltage and power from externally energized stator winding uh, through electromagnetic induction that's why its name is induction motor okay so its advantage disadvantage kya hai advantage matlab simple construction hai um, relatively cheaper and uh, it requires uh, less maintenance or little maintenance and efficiency is high power factor is good and most important point it has self starting torque and disadvantage kya hai it is a kind of constant speed motor its speed cannot change easily we can change it but it cannot be changed easily and your starting torque is comparatively lesser than dc shunt motor so that is all about advantage and disadvantage application dekho induction motor use hota hai lift mein use hota hai cranes mein use hota hai lathe mein use hota hai aur exhaust fan jo industry mein exhaust fan mein bhi use hota hai theek hai so coming to the working principle of three phase induction motor so working principle kya hai dekho matlab whenever three phase uh, uh, winding is energized from three phase supply a rotating magnetic field is produced again i repeat whenever three phase supply is given to the stator winding so in between stator and rotor there is air gap so inside the air gap uh, a rotating magnetic field will circulate or it will set up and circulate the speed at which it revolve in between stator and rotor that is called synchronous speed again i repeat whenever three phase supply is given to the stator winding a revolving magnetic field will set up and that circulate in between stator and rotor the speed at which it circulates it is called synchronous speed main bar bar bol raha hu synchronous speed is the speed of magnetic flux or magnetic field that is equal to 120 f upon p f kya hai jo hamara supply frequency p is the number of pole we have taken in the stator core right then coming to the principle when three phase stator winding is being energized from three phase supply a rotating magnetic field set up as as i have told the speed at which it circulate it is called synchronous speed then what will happen the rotating magnetic field pass through the air gap right and it cuts the rotor conductor which is at stationary so due to the relative speed between the rotating magnetic flux and stationary rotor emf will be induced as per the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction since rotor circuit are short circuited so the current starts flowing through the rotor conductors so now Uh, as you know when a current carrying conductor is kept inside a magnetic field a mechanical force will be developed so we can say here the rotor carrying rotor conductor sorry the current carrying rotor conductor are placed in the magnetic field which produces uh, a mechanical force or you can say mechanical force act on the rotor conductor the sum of all mechanical force will give resultant torque so that is all about the principle of three phase induction motor clear okay i hope you guys understood so thank you thank you so much